<laughs> Guess what? Rattlesnake pole beans are ready. I am super stoked about this. What is happening everybody? This is Jason over here at Cog Kill. We are back in the garden today. Quick garden update today. Show y'all how everything is going on. Also, my rattlesnake pole beans are ready. I have never grown these before, so I'm super stoked about this. So, we're going to pick some rattlesnake pole beans. Uh, give you a quick tour of what's going on in the garden. Uh, probably do a little bit of weeding. And then we're going to cook these suckers. Y'all come on. I generally will, will do a Kentucky Wonder or I got a family heirloom that my granddad's got uh, but my daughter don't seem to like the flavor of those we think it's the um, Trail of Tears bean but we're not 100% certain about that but this year the good guys over at Hoss Tool Company sent me some rattlesnake pole beans and said you got to try these things I'm gonna try them today these things are prolific they are just I mean, I got a mess of rattlesnake bowl pole beans. That's kind of hard to say. But I cannot tell y'all how impressed I am about how this plant has been growing so far. So if you have never grown rattlesnake pole beans, definitely put that on your list for next year. And if you're interested in, in Hall's tool seeds or their tools and equipment like this harvesting bucket here that it's got the straps on it, which I absolutely love, link down below in the description of this video. Let's pick some beans. What's cool about them is this little, uh, the sun is really bright today. Get over here. Is this real cool little striping they got on them. I mean, it is cool. Go on, horsefly. And I've already tested these things raw. And they are a good bean. And it is a mess of them. I'm talking about a mess of them. I'm gonna be honest with you, these things kind of snuck up on me. I've been watching them, been watching them, thought everything was cool, then all of a sudden, boom! I got a mess of pole beans. I even done let some get, probably get too far. I may just shell these and put the peas in there themselves. Cause you really wanna pick them when they're kinda a little bit smaller and tender. You don't worry, you have to worry about a spine being in them. I'm gonna tell you, so far I have not seen the first pest on these things. I don't know if it's just too early. Beautiful, I mean, it's a mess. I gotta go on the other side of this cattle panel. <laughs> Y'all look at that. And you can see, it's gonna be a bunch more coming. I mean, it's a mess of them thing about pole beans is you gotta really watch them because the things that hide on you they uh they kind of sneaky and you're gonna miss some i guarantee you're gonna miss some you're gonna come back here next time you pick and you're gonna have one about six foot long you're gonna go hi in the world they sneaky they, they like little ninjas one thing that i love about pole beans is i mean this didn't take up any space at all you could, you could plant these things two foot apart, these rolls, these caterpillars. I mean, it takes up no room because you're growing vertically. This pole beans are the ticket if you're limited to space. Let me give you a quick tour of what's happening with the garden. The garden is absolutely rocking. I can't tell you how many squash we've gotten. I got another one right here It needs to be good. But the squash are, get my camera here. You can see the squash looks awesome. So far, no pests, but I've been doing my organic spraying. I got that video recorded. If I made that video yet, because it takes a while to edit stuff, I'll put a link down below. 
if I haven't made it yet, it should be coming out in the next day or two of what I do to spray for insects and diseases organically here on the farm. <laughs> a tree limb, a little tree limb fell out of that tree and the peacock sound the alarm. We haven't been able to grow it successfully in the last couple of years. I'll say longer than that. I've actually just given up growing squash because of squash bores. But this year has been awesome. Um, I took the guys over there. Uh, Greg and Travis over there at Hoss 2 Company. If you don't subscribe to their YouTube channel, do it. I'll look down below. I'll put a link to their channel down below. You be sure to tell them Jason over there at Cock Hill sent, sent you over there. They got an awesome gardening channel. But they told me to get them in the ground super early and that way I can start harvesting squash before the squash boars come. Because chances are they're coming. They're just later on in the year. So that's what I did, and we've, we've been eating squash almost every night. Update on the uh, trellis and the butternut squash. This is working absolutely wonderful. And look at this butternut squash. It is coming on, it's everywhere. I got butternut squash all over the place. Um, it's starting to come on out. I'm just gonna watch it. I don't care if it goes that way. And I don't even care if I get it to grow up on that fence over there. Tomatoes. Boy, I can't wait. The tomatoes are starting to just come on. They're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I see in tomatoes on here already. Um, the, but it is looking so awesome right now. I'm gonna be slap honest with you. These are the healthiest tomatoes I have ever grown. Um, I don't know if it's because I started my own seeds this year. I don't know if it's the type of seed this year, which was the Bellarosa, which is a hybrid, but it's supposed to have the flavor of an heirloom. I will say this. I got a Bellarosa in the back in a pot, and it was a little seedling, and it was about this tall when I planted it. Then I had three that Mary Carl and Brooke picked up from a nursery that were some crazy varieties that we let Mary Carl pick out. And I planted them at the same time. That Bellarosa is three times bigger than they are. They, 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 they were, it was this big. The ones from the nursery are this big. That Bellarosa's blown past it. So it may be the variety. It may be because I seeded it myself. It may be the combination of both. Harvesting rattlesnake beans can only mean one thing. The snake. Go show the family. The beans. We got a mess of a mess of rattlesnake pole beans. Check out this video right over here. I think you'll like it. And if you're interested in any cocky farm gear like this old snap shirt, we got a bunch of new designs out there. Check out this link right here. And if you're new to the channel, like what you see because we sure will love to have you. Hit that subscribe button right down below. And as always, y'all be good.